Welcome back to our post-race interviews with the top three finishers after everything is concluded for the Groundhog Classic here at East Alabama Motor Speedway. Of course, Corey Hodge Hedgecock was the winner. Chase Edge, the runner-up, was second. We've talked to them already. Now we're going to talk and wrap it up with our third-place finisher, driver of the Carnival 12 Rocket Chassis out of Sonoya, Georgia, Ashton... Uh, uh, yeah, Ashton Winger. I was about to say Kuchar, but it's not It's not the celebrity. It's Ashton Winger. Ashton, buddy, uh, top three finished crazy race today. Yeah, it was definitely pretty pretty cool. I mean, uh, you know, I saw I was locked down in the bottom there pretty early, and I was hoping they'd work on the racetrack. And then when we qualified outside pole, I was hoping they wouldn't work on the racetrack. But, you know, it all worked out for the good. The uh, Probably the best day race I've ever been to slash raced. So it was uh, really fun racing with Corey and Chase and Forrest Trent and all those guys. It's just Really cool to be racing around such great guys. Definitely, of course, an, an awesome event in itself. And just talk about, you know, just daytime racing compared to nighttime racing, a totally different animal. You run at a big bull, at, at a small bull ring like Sonoya Raceway in Georgia. How do you set up the car, prepare to run on a big fast track here like East Alabama Motor Speedway? You just make sure you can steer pretty good and you're not slipping your out your tire. I mean, that's all. That's really all it is. That's the goal for about everywhere. You know, just being able to be, steer pretty well through the center of the corner and be able to leave hard, you know. Uh, everything starts with the getting into the corner, which would be nice to be pretty good there. So, But it's just all about that and uh, just the difference between day and night racing is it usually every, most of the places i go to no matter how good a racetrack it is at nighttime it just you know it just gets locked down in the bottom chews up tires a lot but it was doing that in the beginning today and then they worked on it a little bit and i was actually really surprised because uh we rolled out on the racetrack and it was completely different than what it, it was from hot laps and qualifying and all that because it was you know some trenches in there and it was it was a pretty good race right out of the gate you happy with the top three finish for nate smith to kick off the year today yeah yeah we had a uh we had a rough year last year so it's nice to come out of the box knowing that the car's really good you know we had a good weekend last weekend and feel like we're making gains every time we get on the track this year just thanks to everybody who helps us out definitely and of course everybody will have a, a nice little break for the next couple of 30 plus days on a hiatus for the next smith uh, chevrolet dirt late bottle series before they fire back up for rounds number six and seven of the rockauto.com winter shootout series at cochran speedway in georgia are, are you familiar with cochran you think you got a shot to win there uh yeah we're familiar with cochran i've been there racing a few times in the supercar and i ran that uh gobbler race they had there in creighton ran fifth there so uh, we'll see. We're still trying to get our supercar put together, but uh, who knows what's going on right now. We're really trying to focus on our f super deal this year. This is the first year I'll have two cars racing late models. So, it's Are you going to run the Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series? Uh, no, I, no, we have a, uh, not a 525, a, a super open motor. Okay. So uh, we're, uh, we got a guy who helps us out a bunch. He has a bunch of different motors, and he has some 525s. I would like to run some 525 some, and I uh, love racing with Neesmith. Absolutely, definitely. Hey, real quickly, I, I asked Chase Edge the question. I'll ask you, how can they follow uh, How can they follow Ashton Winger on social media? Uh, at Ashton Winger on Twitter, uh, at Ashton Winger on Instagram. My Facebook's Ashton Winger. I got a Snapchat, uh, Ashton Winger 01. Uh, I think that's all I've got. Uh, well, at least you're covered. What's that? I said at least you're covered. You got it. Yeah, I listened to Chase before I came in here, so uh, I'm not like Chase. I don't have a wife yet. So. And, and for all of ours, it's at Nee Smith Racing on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course also Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series for the 525 program. America's leader in racing, NeesmithRacing.com, and of course also the official website is 525SuperSeries.com. Thank you to all of our sponsors. As you see them behind us, of course, Who's Your Racing Tire, AR Bodies, RockAuto.com, Sunoco Race Fuels. They're not up there. Chevrolet performance chevrolet uh performance vehicles parts racing neesmith chevrolet buick gmc neesmithnow.com all the sponsors your sponsors appreciate you being on yeah i uh, really appreciate it just want to say thanks kaiser manufacturing integra racing shocks racing radio shane mcdowell racing um csr aluminum fabrication off access paint uh my dad he does a he busts his butt every week you know doing the shocks thing during the day and then me and him stay out pretty late most nights to work on the car and uh Big shout out to Mike Parkers and the Parkers family for helping us out with uh, Textron Off Road, and uh, TGN and Lori's Fund.org. That's a really cool deal they got going on there for Anna Parkers' mom. So, really glad to be a part of that de deal and be a part of this big racing family. Awesome show right there. Of course, Sonoya, Georgia's number 12 rocket of Ashton Winger. Third place here at the Groundhog Classic at East Alabama Motor Speedway. Follow our coverage on social media at neesmithracing.com as we get ready for the next stop. 
of the rockauto.com winter shootout series at a track near you. We'll see you soon at Cochrane Speedway in Georgia and the Chevrolet Performance Super Late Model Series March 18th at 411 Speedway in Seymour, Tennessee. For Ashton Winger, I'm Wesley Outland. Good night from East Alabama Motor Speedway.